Well, hey there, team. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the Emperor's Own. So this is uh, very unusual, just randomly cropped up on my radar. I think I saw someone talking about it on my Twitter feed. God help me. I actually went on Twitter. Um, so this is a game. It's, it's in a demo sort of state, a sort of early slice, uh, maybe even alpha. And uh, it's free for the general public. So you can go on Steam and look this up if you're interested. Um, it does seem to be like a narrative heavy sort of choices matter, that sort of thing, which I'm all about. Um, set in the, well, the blurb said it was set in the turn of the 19th century and uh, in sort of a Russian, alternate Russian universe. So very unusual, which uh, is very enticing. I just clicked on this before briefly. Greetings, friend, I'm warm from warm and sunny Russia. I'm actually enjoying seeing more and more Russian games come out, actually. We've been playing Breath Edge. Tarkov obviously has been a huge success. It's good. It's good to see see more cultures abroad getting involved in what I would say the mainstream Western consumer base. It's very cool. Thank you for playing an early alpha version of The Emperor's Own. This is our first fully playable chapter of the game. It's still very early work in progress. Much will be fixed change. Oh, that's okay. That's fine. Combat is a placeholder that we quickly whipped up just to have something for the alpha. We're reworking it completely. Okay, that's interesting. This, you need this on the, on early access, this should be compulsory. That you have to read this sort of stuff, right? So that's interesting to know. And I always, like with a, I always say gameplay comes first before a narrative. But at the very least, this is telling us that even though I don't agree with it, but the, the, the studio is telling you where they're coming from so you can understand them. So they're clearly more interested in building the narrative first and then the sort of gameplay combat secondary. We'll see how it goes. And obviously we'll be a bit more forgiving because they just slapped it together, but I appreciate them just treating us like adults and telling us from the beginning, right? Most animations are made by hand or with procedural generation. Right, okay, and it shows. And the full release will have full mocap. That's fine. This is good. Games need this explanation. The world is still fairly empty. We've got a few Easter eggs hidden here and there. Most side content hasn't been implemented. And the graphics will be improved all around. That's fine. They, see, because they've addressed this, I will be less critical of this. This is what you're supposed to do to your, with your audience. Um, instructions. Save frequently. Don't delete old saves. You, can, you can't save during dialogue, right? Okay. If you skip through the dialogue real quickly, you can cause bugs. Okay. Occasionally, a dialogue might not start. Companions can get stuck in various places. Okay, but these are open world woes of early development that I would say. Um, there are five saves included, one for each location. Right, cool. Cool, okay, fine, I get it. Good pitch, let's go. Difficulty, choose difficulty level. Or we'll just go medium. Medium's fine. New game, oh okay, there it is there again. Nice. Let's go. The year is 1803. Cornet Alexander Obolinsky, a freshly, uh, mm, okay, very fast sentence. Let's just let it load. The latest briefs. Oh, very good. Good morning to you as well. Look at these boys. All right, gentlemen. The time has come to figure out precisely what's going on in the borderlands. The reports and rumors coming out of there are getting wilder by the day. Ghosts, men with the heads of wolves, satanic sacrifices. Oh, jeez. The dead rising from their graves, and no less than five sightings of the devil himself. The last part is especially surprising, since Vlad hasn't been anywhere near those parts in almost a year. Oh, it's Henry. I hope you're still as amused when I make you scrub the toilets all night. So it's finally happened. The rabble has gone off the deep end. Surely we're not going to waste our time on peasant superstitions. Initially, we weren't. Look at all these mustaches. Some of them quite amusing, in fact. Oh, there's one mustache. Recently, we've been hearing far more insidious whispers. Some of the commoners have got it into their heads that all this is the result of the emperor having lost God's favor, and that unless a change is made at the very top, we will all soon be overrun by demonic forces. I see. These matters have a way of getting out of hand if they're yeah. checked. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. We should put an end to this business as quickly as possible. You will ride for the province of Blagoyask together, then split up. Vlad and Eugene will go to the city of Blagoyask itself. Dimitri, Nick, and Alex, you will investigate the surrounding villages and homesteads. Our orders? 
Investigate the precise source of these rumors. Find the main agitators spreading them and persuade them to stop. Yeah, yeah. Or kill them. Either way works for us. Any other questions? Can the rumors be true? That's a good question. Some of these rumors are true. The dead come back to life and monsters summoned by the devil. Yes. You better bring a magic medallion than the silver sword. <laughs> you want Satan to catch you unprepared. Um, yeah, right. Right. You ride immediately. Yes, yes sir. I actually, I really love games. Uh, well, I haven't seen a game right, do it, gentlemen. but I love movies yes, that do this up. sort of setup. Good luck. You too. What are you looking at, Alex? There's a chest over there. I think I see something over there in the bushes. What is it? I think it's a chest. A chest? In the bushes? How did it get there? Maybe it fell off a wagon. Then grew wings and flew up that hill. Good questions. Look. Voice acting is great. The voice acting is good, actually. As we said, this very early alpha, the devs addressed a lot of the jank. A chest in the middle of nowhere is unlikely enough. If we were to find the key to it as well, that would defy credulity entirely. Yeah, that's true. And why the hell do we even need a key? It's a chest, not a vault. Let's just break it open. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's do that. What is this whistling? Wait, he's whistling bloody Z Zelda shit. Something inside. <laughs> oh, it's such a terrible joke. That's it. One sword. Who would use a whole chest to store a single sword? And why would they just leave it out here in the wilds? It feels right for some reason. But just think for a moment how utterly preposterous this is. Right. Pick up the sword. Yeah, fuck. Give me the sword. What are you doing? I'm taking the sword. What for? You have a sword. I Maybe it's better than the one I have. Better how? A sword is a sword. They're all more or less the same. Right, okay, this is meta commentary on video gaming. Clean and sharp, and this one is old, rusty, and covered in God knows what. Maybe I can sell it? All right, let's go. You're right, I guess. Let's go. That's interesting. Okay. So they're sort of, it's not quite fourth wall. Right, but it's interesting that they're sort of like commenting on video game tropes, which is interesting if that's going to play into the game as we go. Anyway, the setup, I, I love the setup of ghost rumors in a horror movie. And I've seen movies resolve on both sides where they go out and it is all just rumors and made up sort of stuff. But like it's it's still scary because you don't really know, and the, and it makes you really think: could this shit really be true? And then you've got the other side where it actually turns out to be legit supernatural influences out there. I always find that sort of plot device really fascinating in a thriller uh, horror. What can I think of the top of my head? Um, Black Death. Uh... Bone Tomahawk. Hereditary to a point. God, we're saved. The Witch. The Emperor himself sent in here to save us from these horrors. The Apostle. Wasn't you listening? That tyrant doesn't care about us one whit. There must be spirits. Demons come to hurt the lady. All right. What have we here? Scarlet's watch list. There you go, team. They look so real. We are real, idiot. Now get your hands away from me before I cut them off. You will not touch the lady. We'll give our lives for her to the man. Oh, Jesus. What what, what lady? Must be some lady. Huh? What's it to you? You are after her. Die, foul spirits. Oh, here we go. Greetings, friend. Oh, right. Yep. Yeah, okay. This is... This... This is fantastic. So there was a chance I didn't click on that pop-up at the beginning. Now they're forcing it on us. This is great. We've, I, I've been talking about this the past few days, that if you're going to mess with the, let's say, industry standards of how a game is played, 
and you're going to try and break the mold, good for you, that's fine, but you need to make this really clear to the player that, you know, this ain't your bloody mama's adventure game, right? Controls. Combat. Left. Heavy attack, shift plus left. Block. Dodge. Pistol. And kick. Right. Oh, fuck, here we go, it's bloody on. Get pistoled, mate. Ah! Get kicked, mate. Run away, he's thumping me. Oh, he's- help me! I'm gonna die. Help me! Alright, I'm dead. Um, oh no. Do I- if, does it have some sort of autosave or something? Please. Oh no. No, I think- I think the game's bricked out. Alright, hang on. Give me a sec. Oh no, hang on. 13, 13, 14, oh, 14, 15. Jeez, I was getting, I was ready to alt tab to um, crash this game. Let's, uh, let's see. Oh, no, it's crashed on its own. Okay, right. So very early. <laughs> you know what? I, um, uh, we'll just do a shorter video on this run uh, because I actually, I have a few things to, to say on this, right? Like you said, the, the combat system's not there. Now, I'm not even going to go down the rabbit hole. I'm generally speaking not a big fan of early access, and I think it's kind of abused to a point, right? Um, I guess this isn't early access, though. This is a free alpha build. They're not asking for money. So this is a good example of what they should be doing in the industry, right? You have to be able to put up quality if you're going to ask for money. And these guys aren't asking for money. They're giving an alpha build, and they're explaining what works and what doesn't work, and they're very, very explicit about that. Now it crashed and the combat was jank, but we knew that going in. What I was impressed by is they've obviously got a cool couple of voice actors. They're going in a very interesting narrative direction, right? They're obviously trying to do something about breaking away from video game tropes. I love all the uniforms and the setting and all that sort of stuff. But generally speaking, that's cool. More games should do this. We need to go back to the demo model. This would be very difficult to get the gaming industry to follow suit because they want money and you don't get money if you make free demos. What they want to do is get us to buy early access games for a piece of shit game that might turn into shovelware 90% of the time. This is great and these guys should be absolutely commended. So I'm not being super harsh on them. I see the merits. I see what's going on there. I see the hard work and I also see all the janky stuff which they explained and I'm quite happy to excuse away. Um, I would love to see more games do this. And even though I only spent 10 to 15 minutes on it, it still left a good impression, and I really want to see where this goes in the future um, for future development. It's a bit of a shorter video. Um, you know, I don't want to necessarily pull my teeth out going around and loading and that. And to be perfectly honest, we've got a rough idea of what this game's about, and I love the setup. So, yeah, Emperor's Own. We'll keep an eye on that one. I'm curious. Probably give it, what, six months or something like that and check back in. Um, pretty cool stuff. Anyway, team, thanks again for joining me. Might just leave it there for the time being, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.